Hello everyone! Today we are going to look at primary keys and foreign keys. So a primary key is a way of identifying a single row of data in your table. Therefore it must follow some rules. Uh, it has to be unique and it cannot be null. So each table can only have one primary key and this can be made up of a single column or a combination of columns which is then called a composite key. So there are three different ways to add a primary key to a table and I'll just talk you through these now. So we're just going to use this very simple orders table that I've created here. So if we want to add a primary key to a pre-existing table, we would just type this um, SQL statement here, which is alter table and the table that we want to alter um, and add primary key on field type ID. So if I execute that here, we can just have a look under Object Explorer what that looks like now. So we've got this primary key here on type ID. So if I want to specify the name of what I want the constraint to be called, which here I want to call it PK type ID, um, I always find it useful to prefix these with um, PK underscore. Um, then when you're looking quickly in the Explorer window, you can see. Um, so what I've put here is just alter table again, the table that we want to alter, um, add constraint and then the name of the constraint, um, and then it's a primary key and on type ID. So if I just refresh this here, we can see here we still have a primary key on type ID, but we can see that now it is called PK underscore type ID. So we can see how this will enforce the uniqueness. If I try to insert two records into the orders table, and the primary key here is on type ID and we can see here that these are the same um, so here we can see that it will not let us insert a duplicate value there into that column okay so let's just drop and create that again and I'll show you how to create this as a composite key so if I wanted to um, create a composite primary key here on order type and type ID, then I can just execute this statement here. And we can see here that it's now created as a composite key on order ID and type ID. If, again, I wanted to specify the name of that key, if we want to call it PK order, order ID and type ID, we can just run that here. And we can see here we still have the uh, composite key on these two fields, but we can see now that it's titled um, what we told it to call it, which is this. Um, and then the final option that we've got for this is to create the primary key at the point of creating the table. So where we've got the table definition here, um, we'll just write the word primary key after the field that we want to be our primary key, uh, which cannot be a null field. So if I just run that and refresh it here in the Explorer window, we can see now that we have our primary key there just on order ID. Okay, so let's move on to foreign keys now. Um, a foreign key is a way to link tables together to enforce what is known as referential integrity. Um, this means that if we reference a field in our table, SQL will make sure that it exists in the corresponding table. So the primary key in the parent table can become a foreign key in the child table. Um, it then would not be possible to, like, say, delete a record in the parent table if it's still referenced in the child table or to insert a record into the child table which does not exist in the parent table. Um, unlike a primary key, you can have multiple foreign keys per table. So we can create our foreign keys in the same way as primary keys where we can add it into an existing table here. 
So if I refresh this here, we can now see that our customer ID field is now a foreign key and we can see that down there. And if I want to call it something specific like this, we'll use the same syntax as before where we're going to alter table, TBL order, add constraint and the name that I want to call it. We'll tell it that it's a foreign key on field customer ID and that it references table customer on the customer ID field. So let's just have a look at that. There we go, you can see that there. Um, and then the other option we've got is to add it in at the point of table creation. Um, so there it's just customer ID, not null, it's a foreign key and it references TBL customer on field customer ID. And we can just see that there. So just to show you how this will enforce the referential integrity. Um, if we look here in the customer table, we can see that we have customer ID 1, um, but we don't have customer ID 5. So when we insert customer ID 1, it will allow this, but when we try to insert customer ID 5, it will they'll say like, hey, you know, that's not allowed. Um, this also works with delete. So if we want to try and delete from TVL customer where customer ID equals one. This should not allow us to do this now because we have a record in the order table referencing it. And we can see that there, it won't let us do that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that that was clear. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below. Uh, the next tutorial in this series will be on default values, unique constraints and check constraints. So thanks for watching.